I don't believe in letting demons in. I don't believe in letting shaitan in. I don't believe in letting negativity in. I believe in letting God in and accepting God into your body. Han Meditations. Hey guys, I'm Han. This is my wife, Kelly. If you see her writing down or me on my phone, we're taking notes because we want to get the best information possible and remember and retain it too. So a lot of times we're actually studying our own notes that we're writing during the process and going over it just so that we remember it. So, and a lot of times the videos are quick and we have to try and retain it as best as possible. So that's what we're doing. So a lot of people requested this video. Let's go ahead and watch it and get, it and get into it, Kelly. I'm excited. Let's go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> والسابقات سبقا فالسابقات سبقا فالمدبرات أمرا والسابقات سبحا فالسابقات سبقا فالمدبرات أمرا يوم ترجف الراجفا تتبعها الرادفة قلوب يومئذ وأجفة أبصارها خاشعة يقولون أئنا لمردودون في الحافرة أئذا كنا عظاما نخرة قالوا تلك إذا كرة خاسرة فإنما هي زجرة واحدة فإذا هم فإذا هم بالساهرة هل أتاك حديث موسى إذ ناداه ربه بالواد المقدس قوى اذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى فقل هل لك إلى وأهديك إلى ربك فتغشى فأراه الآية الكبرى فكذب وعصى فكذب وعصى ثم أدبر يسعى فحشر فنادى فقال أنا ربكم الأعلى فأخذه الله نكال الآخرة والأولى الله الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا فكذب وعصى ثم أدبر يسعى فحشر فنادى فحشر فنادى فقال أنا ربكم الأعلى فأخذه الله نكال الآخرة والأولى 
إن في ذلك لعبرة لمن يخشى أأنتم أشد خلقا أم السماء بناها رفع سمكها فسواها وأغطش ليلها وأخرج ضحاها وأخرج ضحاها والأرض بعد ذلك دحاها أخرج منها ما والجبال أرساها متاعا لكم ولأنعامكم فإذا جاءت الطامة الكبرى يوم يتذكر الإنسان ما سعى وبرزت الجحيم لمن يرى فأما من طغى وآثر الحياة الدنيا وآثر الحياة الدنيا فإن الجحيم هي المأوى وأما فمقام ربه ونهى النفس عن الهوى ونهى النفس عن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المأوى يسألونك عن الساعة أيان مرساها فيما إنما أنت منذر إنما أنت منذر من يخشاها كأنهم يوم يرونها لم يلبثوا كأنهم يوم يرونها لم يلمثوا إلا عشية أو ضحاها الله Wow, every time we see one of those I just start feeling emotional because it's just I don't know, it's just about hearing the word of God and hearing people talk about it and reciting it in the energy. It's not even, it's just the voice with the energy and then seeing people praising God and being there for a higher purpose. I've always thrived in those environments and love those environments where people are truly there because they believe in a higher purpose. And at the beginning, he was talking about Moses and talking about him coming up to the Pharaoh and giving the Pharaoh, basically giving him a chance, a chance to come to God, telling him basically, please come to God. You know, you can still do it. And he denied. He essentially rebelled and turned his back on God. And we all know what happened after that. And it's just, I just, go ahead. I was just saying it was very, really lovely. And I agree just having everyone focus in on worshiping God, Allah, is incredible. And I did notice in the middle of there, they the daily prayer was recited. I noticed that. So it sounds like that's the actual the, the prayer that Moses presented to the Pharaoh as well. You know, when it says, um, God, the giver of mercy, the Lord of mercy, the only one worth praising, you know, keep us on the straight path. 
that's essentially the exact thing that said the pharaoh and the pharaoh was just not having it <laughs> he had too much of an ego and believed that he was the lord of lords yeah so and that's, we see what happened to him <laughs> yeah and ego is a big thing for a lot of people because it's just i believe in letting god into your body I don't believe in letting demons in. I don't believe in letting Satan in. I don't believe in letting negativity in. I believe in letting God in and accepting God into your body. And that is how I interpret letting God in and having a relationship with God. And that's why I believe that you are a part of God and God is within you. I don't believe that you are God, that you are a God, that you're all powerful. No, I believe that God is a separate entity but once you let God into your life, God becomes a part of you. Yeah, and that is where all miracles can happen. Mm -hmm. That is where all abundance can happen. All positivity can happen. When you let God into your life and let God decide for you, what is your path? What is your purpose in this life? Let him in and let him decide. And then your life will transform in ways you could have never even imagined. Because I've seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, because it's like... You're being influenced, right? So therefore, it shapes who you are, and in in that sense, is within you. And I do, you know, see what you're saying with that, Han. And in the same way that the five people you spend the most time with are going to influence who you are, and so in a way, are in you as well. So you have to watch that. But it's very true that any single time we choose to believe in a thought that is negative that is bad anytime we choose to believe in a thought that you know we we look at someone else not with love not through the lens of love we get mad at them we get annoyed with them whatever it may be we get annoyed at ourselves. we feel like we can't do it any single time you give into one of those thoughts think is that how god would have you think is that how Allah would have you think no that is a little devil the little demon that all of us have to that's the shaitan the jinn that's tricking you because god mm -hmm. is everlasting love everlasting forgiveness so if you let god in of course you can forgive yourself of course you can love yourself of course you can believe in yourself yep and that is the most powerful feeling to have when you have a relationship with allah when you let allah into your life and let him choose because he is the best of planners. Thank yeah. you guys for watching the video. I absolutely love each and every one of you. Just donating is just like, we appreciate it so much, guys. Thank you Truly. for everyone who donates in the comments, who's been sending uh, to the PayPal, everything. We appreciate it so much because we truly believe this is our purpose and we want to continue to do this. And as you can see, we have over 700 videos on our channel. We have no problem working hard, especially when we believe that we're helping others and spreading the word of God. And that's mainly what we want our life to be about and what we want the channel to be about. So thank you guys so much for being here. And we'll see you in, in the, the next, next video. video.